that was so surreal. Famously called film "Little Pieces of Time," but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Got a brilliant eye, an eye. I can hear the class laughing at me now. She could have taken another approach. I have to. Admit, I should take a picture I'm to prove I'm still. Plus, it's work. perfect for me. And I have I to get my daily selfie quota. Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have. I do love my it, analog camera. Which explains. I should take a quick picture now. Muse. and both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a. Selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition. Everybody in class is turning in a photo so I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur.
Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jenny because Max wants everybody to see how I'm not paying hundred dollars. So I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. To all of you American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. I love that picture of Mom and Dad. American Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Like to Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. around you, driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. It looks like she's been gone for months. American girls in the movies. No one can tell where your heart is. American girls like dollies with shiny smiles and plastic bodies. I wish I had. Empty, you could. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? 
Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally hot. No can do, Max. Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. <laughs> you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those... I better rewind. Did it. Can you give me an example of a photographer a human who time machine. captured the human condition in black and white? Anybody? Max, don't Bueller. freak out. Not Diane yet. Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Keep it together, Max. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes when of When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. She saw humanity as torture, if he does right? again, I'll know this is for real. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But a beauty in the struggle. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces. 
making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary Ota Think, Max. Rewind and find something. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype. I need to.